Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Neva, otherwise known as Cine Rick, and today we'll be discussing the four basic camera settings you need to know to get some swifty looking footage and or photos. Hit the intro. <laughs> Getting into camera work, be it photography, video recording, filmmaking, etc. can be scary. A bunch of settings and concepts you need to understand in order to properly work the camera, let alone manipulate it in order to achieve certain in-camera effects that look awesome. I remember having picked up a DSLR for the first time, not knowing how complex it would be, thinking to myself this tool would be easy to use. Pick it up, aim, click, bing, bada, boom, I have this amazing photo or shot that would put me on the map. But no, a completely different scenario occurred. I picked it up, aimed, clicked, and it shot an overblown photo. This intimidated me so much that for the most part, until about five years ago, I kept the camera in auto and let the camera do the artistic work for me. Cool, the first setting we're gonna be talking about is white balance. Now white balance is a setting that allows you to calibrate the camera to the color temperature of the light. Every light has a different color temperature and that thus affects the portrayal of colors inside your camera. Thus by ensuring that you white balance your camera correctly, you're ensuring that whatever is rendered out white in camera was white when you recorded it so those venom eyes would appear white because i've balanced my camera out correctly to the proper white balance of my tungsten lights which side note is 3200 kelvin the second setting that you should know to get that cinematic goodness is iso or asa they're the same thing they're just named differently depending on where you're from in the world and it basically controls the sensitivity of your sensor to light. It comes from when we used to use film stock and you used to have different sensitivity rated film stocks for different situations. Basically, they converted that into a digital setting that allows you to change the sensitivity of your sensor. It's important to note that every camera has a native ISO slash ASA, and that is the sensitivity of your sensor that works optimally the best for your camera. This can be changed depending on what you need because like all things, it is a tool that can be manipulated for what you need to get. Just note that the higher you go in your ISO, the more likely you are to get noise in your image in your dark shadow areas. The third awesome setting that you are going to be needing to know is aperture measured in f-stops. It's a weird logo, pop here. And what aperture is, is how open or closed down your lens is. And it affects two things. Uh, for this discussion, we're gonna be using a 50 millimeter lens as what we'd be recording at. And aperture affects one, exposure, because the more you open it, the more light is able to get into the camera and therefore you have a brighter image. And the more closed down, the darker your image because less light is getting through the pinhole of your camera. And the second thing it affects is the depth of field. Now depth of field is simply how much of your subject is in focus in your image. So the more closed down, the bigger your depth of field, the deeper your depth of field, and the more open, the shallower the depth of field. This is all a cinematic goodness that you can change depending on what you need for the narrative. Point number four is shutter speed. Now shutter speed is simply how fast your shutter is opening and closing, allowing the light to hit your sensor before it is closed down. Uh, shutter speed affects two things. One, exposure, because the faster your shutter speed, the quicker it closes down, which means less light is able to hit your sensor and vice versa, similar to aperture. And the second thing is movement. The higher your shutter speed, the sharper your image is in terms of movement because the sensor is able to capture more points of movement because it's opening faster and closing faster. And then the slower your shutter speed, the more blurry the movement is. Um, yeah. That is the four basic camera settings you need to know about. As always, if you like this video, feel free to hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, do all that funky, funny stuff. And I'll see you again on the next episode. Feel free to let me know what you think of this episode. Anything you guys would like me to do. Any tips to improve. I'm always keen to hear about your thoughts and opinions. Put it on the comments down below. And I'll check you on the next episode.